Hello friends, welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. Hi, I am Mohit Sharma, your mentor and coach on Lean Six Sigma issues and problems. In any Lean Six Sigma project, the black belt or the green belt, they are required to calculate process sigma. So in today's video, I am going to teach you how to calculate process sigma values when your project Y is continuous or discrete. So let's begin. We will first learn how to calculate process sigma when the data is discrete, when the project Y is discrete. So in this case, there are total defects which are 357, total opportunities per unit is 5, it means one unit can fail in 5 different ways and total units are 10,000. So there are 4 things that can be calculated when the project Y is discrete. The first one is called defects per unit. The formula to calculate defects per unit is total defects which is 357 divided by total units which is 10,000. So DPU value is 0 0.357. The next thing that can be calculated is called DPO which is defects per opportunities. In real sense it is defects per total opportunities. So total opportunities can be calculated by multiplying opportunity per unit into total units. So if I can put this formula here equal to 5 multiply by 10,000. So 50,000 are the total opportunities to make defects. So DPO is defects divided by total opportunities which is 50,000 and the value of DPO is 0 0.00714. The next is DPMO, defects per million opportunities. So the formula for this is defects divide by total opportunities multiplied by 1 million, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is 7140. So now coming back to today's topic which is process sigma value, how you calculate process sigma for discrete data, there is a formula called equal to norm sin V N O R M S I N V. You start a bracket 1 minus, you start another bracket total defects which is 357 divide by total opportunities which is 50,000 bracket close another bracket close plus 1.5 so the sigma value in this case is 3.95 sigma so this is how these four values can be calculated while doing a six sigma project for discrete data so let's go to mini tab and see how we can calculate process sigma value for continuous data. So it is a calling process. I have data in mini tab in column C1. The cycle time of calls is represented in column C1 here. Team want to identify what is the sigma value of the current process. There are two specification limits in this case. One is called lower specification limit and one is called the upper specification limit. The lower specification limit is 2 minutes, means no call should end before 2 minutes and no call should take more than 10 minutes. These specification limits are given by the customer. So customer has felt in the past that if any call drops before 2 minutes, the query is not properly resolved and customer has to call back again. And when the call goes beyond 10 minutes, it is not productive. It means all the people on the call should have the responses available within those 10 minutes to their end customers. Otherwise, customer satisfaction goes for a toss. So let's see how process sigma value is calculated for this kind of a data. So the path to calculate process sigma value is stat, quality tools, capability analysis and normal. So I have checked this data is normally distributed. So in this video, we will learn how to calculate it for normal data only. So this is the kind of screen that you will get. In single column, enter call cycle time. In subgroup size, enter 1. Lower specification, enter 2, 2 minutes. And upper specification limit, enter 10 minutes. 
now you go to options under options click on benchmark z value and click ok and ok now if you look at this graph overall capability z bench value is 3.10 sigma so this is the overall process sigma there is z value of lower specification limit of 4.53 sigma and upper specification limit of 3.11 sigma it means there is a higher probability of creating defects towards the upper specification limit rather than lower specification limit you can also see in the graph as well the central value and the data points are more skewed towards the upper specification limit rather than lower specification limit so friends this is how process sigma value for continuous data and for discrete data can be calculated i hope you like this video if you really like this video please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends i will see you in my next upcoming video till then take care bye bye